Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network. Here we're working on lab 3213, configuring Ether Channel. I've already had my package tracer open and whatnot. So we're looking at part one, step one, assign each switch a host name according to the topology. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on to switch one, get to our CLI, get into global configuration mode, terminal. We want to do host name, S1. We'll do the same thing for switch two. Get to our global configuration mode. Config T. Host name switch two. And lastly will be switch three. Again, get into our global configuration mode. Host name S3. And that part is done. Configure all the required ports as trunks, depending on the uh, appropriate interface. So I'm gonna go back to switch one. We know that it's going to be interface range gig zero slash one through two. We want to make this a switch port mode trunk. All right, we also wanna make sure so that does between switch one and switch two. We also want to do an interface range so that we can have switch one connect to S3 of F0 slash 21 through 22. Again, switch port mode trunk and switch one is done for now. Let's hop over to switch two. You're already going to see that the connections between switch one and switch two were just changed. We actually have to configure the switch two side of things. Again, interface range, we're doing gigabit port zero one through two, switch port mode trunk. Also, we're going to be doing the appropriate interfaces between two and three. Interface range. FA0 23 through 24. Switch port mode trunk. All right, so switch two is taken care of. Lastly, let's get to switch three. We actually want to configure ports 21, 22, 23, and 24 for uh, to be a trunk. So interface range FA0 21 through 24. Switch port mode trunk. And that part is done. So we've done that as well. So we're going to be doing, first thing is we're going to be setting up Ether channel using Cisco's PAGP. And then we're going to be setting up LA, the LAC. So on switch one, let's do a show. interface trunk. Remember, if you're doing a show command, but you're in the con global configuration, use the command do in front of it, and that will allow us to do the command. Otherwise, you have to be in the exec mode to do show commands. Here are the appropriate ports. Here are the statuses showing that they are indeed in trunking mode. All right, so we're gonna go into the next part. We're gonna be setting up our first ether channel. So on switch one, let's go ahead and do interface range. We're doing FA0, 21 through 22. We're gonna do a shutdown. Nope. We turn them off. We actually want to do a All right, so for whatever reason, it's not like in the word channel, so let's do. Oh, that's because it doesn't know if we want channel group or channel protocol. Channel group. Now we can have it out. We want group one. We want to set our mode to desirable. Now we're going to turn it back on. All right. Now that side's done. 
That's what we did right there. We're going to go on to switch three. We want to go to interface range FA0 21 through 22. Through. We want to do a shutdown. We want to do it. Channel group one mode desirable. And we want to do a no shutdown, turn it back on. All right, so that means that should now actively negotiate to form a black link. Make sure they're both turned on. All right, it's working now. So then lastly, we need to configure the logical interface to become a trunk. So just because we did the uh, groups, we need to actually go ahead and set those ports. So we're gonna do interface port channel. I cannot type tonight channel one. Okay, that's the number that we're using. Switch port mode trunk. Because even though it was a individually they were trunks, we got rid of it. We did an ether channel so they're grouped together. Now we have to turn them that grouped group of interfaces, that logical interface, back to a trunk. Port channel one, switch port mode trunk. So that one's done. So now let's go ahead and verify. Switch one, do show ether channel summary and that's what we want <coughs> we should share the ports that are in the appropriate protocol port uh channel sorry i was coughing so we should be able to see the port group we should see the channel, what we're being called, what protocol it's using, and what ports they're associated with. So that one's done. Let's go ahead and move on to step three. Step three, we've already done the show interfaces, show trunks. So let's go ahead and on switch one, go through it. We're going to configure port channel two. Get back to my global configuration mode. Interface range, gig zero, one through two. We're going to shut it down. What we're going to be doing is setting up channel group two mode active we're going to do a no shutdown turn it back on because we already know we have to make it a trunk let's go ahead and interface port channel two let's go ahead and make it a trunk now switch port mode trunk all right so that's all taken care of Let's go to switch two, get our global configuration mode. And again, let's go ahead and interface gig zero, one through two. Oh, interface range. Let's do a shutdown, interface Channel group two, mode active. 
Oh. Get rid of int. We have to create the channel group for uh first. Turn it on. Now let's go to the channel group. So interface port channel two. Switch port mode trunk. Alright. So we should be good now. We've done both parts. Let's do a so let's do a do show ether channel summary and there we go the top over to switch one let's do the same thing oh, switch do show ether channel summary and you'll see that we have both P-A-P, P-A-G-P, and we have both L-E-C-P. All right. So last one, part four. So let's go ahead and configure our redundant links. Let's hop over to, so there are various ways to enter the channel group commands. Here's one example. So we're going to be doing this on switch two interface range. We're going to be doing this on FA 23 through 24. We're going to be turning it off. Channel group three. We're going to be doing this one to passive. No shutdown. We're going to be making sure that this is a trunk. Port channel three. Switch port mode trunk. All right. So next thing is we're going to be going on to switch three. So we did this part right here. We're going to be doing 4-1-B now. All right, from our global configuration mode, int range FA 23 through 24, we're going to turn it off. General group, three mode active. We're going to do a no shutdown, turn it on. Interface port group, sorry, port channel. three we're going to be doing the switch port mode trunk and that is actually it so we've done all of that we've done all of that last thing let's go ahead and verify one thing that we may want to point out now is port 2 channel is not operating because the spanning tree protocol so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. We're going to do that by going to switch one. We're going to be doing spanning tree, VLAN one, root primary. And we're going to give it a second. All right, while that's doing that, let's go ahead. Let's do on switch two. Let's do our show ether summary. So we show connection to group two and group three, and they're both active. They're both showing P, ports and channel. And so we're good. And actually, I believe that's the end of this lab. Let's check our results. And everything is finished. If you have any questions, please let me know.